Okay, hello and welcome. On uh, this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly add, um, add how to spawn AI during runtime in side scroll shooter kit. So this is end result. I am now pressing a um, button on, like on on keyboard, Bang, and AI spawns. Shoot it. Kill him. And that's about it. So. This is end project, this is end result. It's mostly this code right here. So now I'm going to um, to clean project. This is clean project 424 Unreal Engine. So I'm creating new level right here. Okay, I'm going to level blueprint. This is it. So I'm going to take a look. I'm going to copy this code because uh, that will be much faster and I'll um, you know, explain it. So what do we got here? Um, so when we want to spawn the AI, I'm going to, for input, uh, for uh, num, let's say, zero on num, uh, number num keyboard all right so this is print screen so this is only like for debugging purposes to see if it's actually happening so I can play this to show you spawn actor from class then we choose the AI which we want to spawn which is I don't know, rifle rifle hard uh, rifle easy whatever uh, spawn transform I'm going to split it. Uh, actually, I wouldn't have to, but this is the place where where AI is supposed to spawn. So I will add a node or target or whatever you want. Okay, so um, it will spawn here. So now when I'm having selected this, I'm going back to level blueprint, create a reference to that node. I'm getting a transform for it, which is also spl um, did a split. Oh, sorry, recombine, recombine. So I'm doing a split of transform, and then look, look up location and rotation. So we'll spawn the same uh, where the uh, where the node is. Okay, and then we need to spawn in controllers. Spawn default controller uh, for. Um, First for AI itself, and then for pound sensor because it's a pound also. It's like this. We need to cast it. Um, we need to get the pound sensor and child actor, which is part of AI. Cast it and spawn also control for it. And then we're going for initial settings, and that's about it. Which is the uh, like um, like an. Um, Stuff that happens on on spawn on um, on begin play for AI. Um, more or less, that's it. Oh no, stop. <laughs> okay, that's about it. Okay, now he will spawn probably. Oh, there he is. We're shooting, but we have ton of errors. So let's fix them. Um, so we have, I just I just clicked on the message. Uh, so it's basically adding a new null check every, everywhere, like this. So if it's valid, to this, run behavior tree, and then set volume as enum somewhere else here. Hmm, I I think that's. We don't need to fix this one. Um, rest of logic. Let's go with this one, I think, because that's happens after it. So the same thing is valid, okay? Okay, and let's put this guy. Whoops, over here. Oops. 
Yeah, let's see what else. Oh, there you go. It's much less. All uh, right. So with this, let's go to this uh, blackboard. Update random and let's do not update them if it's not valid. Valid. If there is no blackboard, is valid. There you go. And as false return. Okay. And what we got set initial settings as value and yeah, right here same thing. This valid. <sighs> Do this only if the blackboard is valid. If it's not, go somewhere else. Which won't happen anyway. It won't won't damage anything. Alright, and let's try again. Come on. Yeah. No errors. And he's he didn't walk because I didn't put enough mesh bounce. Enough mesh bounce volume. There you go. Compact zero. that's about it uh, as a bonus I will hook up this to the logic for elevator so let's look for elevator Ele elevator platform all right so this guy will spawn when and I think it will go up. Oh no. Um, yeah, I want this one. So, elevator will go up somewhere over here. So, let's hook up a little level design here. Oh. So, the elevator will go somewhere here. Uh, I will update now fresh bounce volume so it will cover um, this part also and I will spawn move this note target point um, to spawn somewhere here it's pretty close Found him a little farther. Alright, let's go to elevator blueprint and we should have something like finished uh, movement and when movement of the elevator is completed, we want to call and movement is completed. So let's what we want to do. Mm, elevator is up, elevator is down. I don't know. Let's make it a spotter. That will be simplest, like elevator movement is done, right? And I'm dragging here, call it. There you go. Now we're going to level blueprint. And let's, I have this selected? No. Yeah, I have this selected, okay. Okay, there should be an even. Come on, event. Um, <laughs> I forgot what's the name. Movement is done. Movement is done. There you go. So we don't have to buy it. There is an event already for it. All right. When the movement is done, print string. Uh, done. And then after this, let's power the AI. Like so. All right. Let's go. So I'm going here, <gasps> and he's found. So <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, so th that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck.